Am I the asshole? For purposefully tripping over a suitcase and guilt tripping my husband? I F32 am currently 8 months pregnant with our first, and I am trying to do everything I can to make sure the house is ready. This started with little spring cleaning jobs, but has developed into a full-blown deep clean of everything. One of the things I have decluttered recently was mine and my husband's M33 closet. I donated everything we don't wear, and have folded and put away everything that we won't need during winter. Some of this clothing has gone into a suitcase, which is currently sitting on our bedroom floor because it is too heavy for me to lift and put away. I have asked my husband to please help me more than once, but he is always either too tired after finishing work or he says that it slips his mind. All in all, the suitcase is currently looking like a permanent installation in our bedroom. He has at least shifted it out of the main walkway in the interim. Last night, I woke up to go to the bathroom and ended up tripping over the suitcase as I fumbled in the dark. I do obviously know where it is after it has been there for so long, but I was half asleep and trying to avoid our sleeping up. While the fall wasn't bad, I did wake my husband in the process. My husband was initially quite worried especially since our midwife told us any fall needed a trip to the hospital but once he realized it was because of the suitcase, he became quite upset. He said that there is no way I could have tripped over the suitcase unintentionally as he has moved it out of the walkway, and I had done it to prove a point. He said that he could not believe I would behave so passive aggressively and put our baby's life at risk rather than just asking him again, and that forgetting to move the case is not a crime. The more I tried to explain that I was trying to avoid waking him and tripping over the dog, the more he said that these were just convenient excuses to make him look lazy and unhelpful around the house. He said I was punishing him for not getting to the suitcase sooner, and that if anything, I should have had a plan to deal with it from the beginning as it was me who had wanted to sort out the closet in the first place. My husband was fired up again after I mentioned to the midwife this morning that I had tripped over a suitcase, and he said I could have just told her that I had fallen over the dog or my shoelaces. He said that he had made his feelings clear during the night when we had our discussion, and I was rubbing salt in the wounds now. I spoke to my mom F61 about it after we got back from the midwife because I wanted to vent, and she surprisingly took his side and said I was letting my emotions get the best of me. My mom said I should have been more graceful bringing it up in front of the midwife although I will say that I never said anything about asking him to move it, and she said that the situation has probably made my husband feel quite bad about himself which is why it has turned into such a big drama. I know a man with one leg. He says he sometimes wakes up at night to go to the bathroom, forgets he only has one leg, and ends up tumbling to the floor. So, if he can forget that, how is one to remember a suitcase? Not the asshole. It sounds like he was being lazy about it and now he's feeling guilty, so he's lashing out at you to compensate. How long has the suitcase been there? I just came from another post where someone said why is every reddit post recently I've married a complete asshole having or had a baby with a huge asshole and they're treating me badly for expecting them to be a caring sensitive non-abusive human. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your husband is kind of an ass for assuming that there is no way you could forget it was there. Pregnancy brain is very real. I got into the shower more than once with either my socks and or underwear still on because I would literally forget I still had to take those items off and it was hard to see my feet or anything below my belly at that point. Not the asshole. He is trying to rationalize his lack of effort. Not the asshole he said that there is no way I could have tripped over the suitcase unintentionally as he has moved it out of the walkway, and I had done it to prove a point. He said that he could not believe I would behave so passive-aggressively and put our baby's life at risk rather than just asking him again, and that forgetting to move the case is not a crime. He doesn't care, as he said, he said I could have just told her that I had fallen over the dog or my shoelaces. I'd have probably yelled so fucking move it when he started whining to the midwife. Your mom is wrong. Not the asshole. Your husband is an R. Does he often blame you for things he hasn't done? 
not the asshole. The only reason your trip on the suitcase is making your husband look lazy and unhelpful is because he is being lazy and unhelpful. Info where is the suitcase now? Not the asshole holy moly. You absolutely do not lie about how you got an injury, especially if it's due to negligent actions by your husband. He's blaming you for his lazy behavior, it sounds like it's just one suitcase and all he had to do is put it away, probably a job that will take less than 10 minutes. Your mother is not being helpful at all, she is excusing his behavior. You are a kind space for your baby and preparing for life with them, how are your own husband helping with this because it sounds like they are just making your life harder. Not the asshole. So glad you weren't hurt. Did he move the suitcase, luggage, to the closet or is it still in on the bedroom floor? If it's still out I'd be petty as hell and hire someone to put it up. Or empty it and put it up and stuff his clothes under the bed. Not the asshole does your husband often blame you for his mistakes or laziness? He sounds like he has trouble with taking accountability and likes to point the finger. Not the asshole have fun parenting with this guy. Seems like nothing is ever his fault. Not the asshole, your husband needs to grow up. Not the asshole. Your husband has been too tired busy to move a suitcase for almost a month but he could find the time and energy to move it from the bedroom to the hall? He's dramatic and likely feels guilty because he knows it's his fault the damn suitcase is in the way. Also, he's so caught up in being right that he's blaming you for purposefully putting your child's life at risk. And asking you to lie to your midwife to make him look better? Your mom is wrong and if this is how he treats you now it will likely get worse with the stress. If having a child... Not the asshole, your husband is a whiny baby and should just move the damned suitcase. Pure Davo, blaming you for what he didn't do. Not the asshole he feels guilty and is blowing up on you to not have to feel bad about it. He said that he had made his feelings clear during the night when we had our discussion. Not the asshole his feelings are fucking irrelevant. He is so lazy he can't put a damn suitcase away. What kind of useless asshole dad is he going to be when the baby gets there? Not the asshole question out of general interest, would not alter my opinions of the situation, are you asking him to carry it up like three flights of stairs or something? Like how can he always be too tired to move a suitcase? As to his accusations that you did it on purpose, I have lived in the same house with the same bedroom set up for the last 17 and 1 2 years. I still whack my thigh on the edge of the footboard on my bed on a regular basis. Not even kidding over 17 years and I still misjudged the distance. Not the asshole, but did he move it after that? He is clearly an R being tired and forgetful are things that can't be used as an excuse when the baby gets there they will be true but you have to do whatever you have to do nonetheless. Your mother is a twit and your husband is T.A. He got so mad because he ultimately knows it's his fault you tripped and the fact that he didn't immediately put it away after you tripped just reinforces what an absolute jagoff he is. Not the asshole.